go. Hi everyone, I'm here with Tim Scott, and we are celebrating his last, his final days as a member of the Oregon Symphony after 41 years he's retiring. So, uh, I, I got a group of questions from members of the orchestra to ask Tim, I know, right? So, and he's, he has a glass of champagne to celebrate. We're coming home from Salem, we've never done an interview on a bus before, so we can't, I, I can't wait, it's gonna be awesome. So Tim, do you remember your first day in the Oregon Symphony? No. You don't? I remember my first concert though. Okay, that's good enough. We did um, Beethoven 5 and the Dvorak 8, and I got hiccups. <laughs> that's very exciting. I love that. That's exciting. How did you deal with it then? Did you just hold your breath for a while? No, well, it was pretty informal then. I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone asked, what is your strange, strangest memory of your time here in the orchestra? Strangest memory? The strangest one? Yeah. yeah. Well, there was one great one when, um, on the music stand, we had some of that music that goes, that we call the one enormous piece, like the hundred pages, we're all filled it up like this. Mm -hmm. And our music got all usually piled up in the middle where we couldn't see any of it. Mm -hmm. And we were trying to fix it, and it was one of James the Priest's first rehearsals here, and he was looking at us the whole time, like, what am I doing here? <laughs> and this music, I spent half the rehearsal in Naomi, trying to get the music in order. That probably was my strange Tonight was pretty strange. What happened tonight? Well, I was sitting 30 feet away from where I normally sit next to the bassoon because I thought I knew what was going on most of the time. <laughs> like the rest of you. <laughs> not all of you. Okay, uh, so what piece do you think you played the most in your 41 seasons? American in Paris. American in Paris. Oh, yeah. Maybe, okay. I don't know. Really? Rodeo! We do Rodeo all the time. Hold down. <laughs> um, is there anything you wish you played like more often? Mozart piano controls. That's a good answer. I like that. But we don't do them here. So. <laughs> What's your favorite cello section memory? Cello section? Yeah. That's I mean, you have a long time. Think back. 41. Yeah, that, that's really tough. A good memory, hopefully. <laughs> a, good, a good memory. A good memory. Oh, man. Well, I remember once when Leonard Rose was here, we had, someone had the idea that we would all come in and do a session for Trudeau. That we would all come in at the beginning and we decided that was a terrible idea. That's a pretty good memory. Oh, I had a good memory. The other day they took me out of the classroom on watch and that was really fun. That's awesome. It was very nice of them. That was fun. A little check cello that was a, That was a great memory. The cello section going away party. Yeah, um, I think of another one in the next few minutes. I'll let you know. Okay. How oh, I know. Wait a minute. I have one. Okay. When we tried to play Les Blake's Zarathustra, which has 12 cello parts and down to 8 cellos, so we had to keep switching parts. <laughs> that was a good one. Bad memory. <laughs> how, how, how many music directors have you played on there? Three. Three? Larry Smith. Larry Smith, okay. And, uh... After oh. 1937. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember James the Priest's first day here, first rehearsal, which was great. Can I tell you this one? I'm sorry, what year? 1937. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I remember James the Priest's first day was one of the best things in the audition here. He walked, the first time we ever saw him, we walked up uh, in the old rehearsal room at the then Civic Auditorium, now the Keller, and he took his crutch, threw it down, and said, Thank you, Oral Roberts. That was the first words we heard from him. Oral Roberts was like a paint dealer. Oh, okay. And then we wanted him from that moment. <laughs> okay, I think my final question is oh, I have No, okay, I'll, I'll keep going. We can talk forever. Uh, who is your best friend in the orchestra? Do you have a best friend in the orchestra? Or someone you talk to, your favorite person? Well, Steve Price used to be probably my best friend. Oh, Steve. He retired last year. He retired last year. And I talked to Don Hermans a lot. I talked to um, Gail and Ken a lot. Mm -hmm. And David, my old friends in the cello section. Mm -hmm. um, those are probably the best friends I have there. What are you going to do with your tails? Burn them! <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no, okay, it's about time I, I clean them. Okay, this is, this is probably my favorite story of orchestra. Some of you probably 
John Gay playing and we used to go on tour, remember? Of course, other people were going on tour. We used to tour around the state and we were in John Gay and they sent us into the school. And uh, I had kindergartners, just eight in the morning, who ever wanted to go. I had kindergartners and first graders, so I thought I'd make it educational. So I was, you've heard this story, but that's not I thought I'd make it talk about opposites. And they were all over this, you know, big and small, fast and slow, uh, hot and cold. They were, they were kind of this. And so I played a really high note on the cello. Very high note. The little girl yelled, good! <laughs> that's probably my favorite. That's awesome. So what are you going to do after retirement? Play, cello? play much softer music. Did 